Polish the studs, mink oil up the leather, and wake up the gimp. It's time for America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh, uh, sorry. It's actually time for what? I'm Chris Strouth, and I'll be playing the part of the host this evening. And tonight is the band. We've got four guys named Shannon, Thorne, Norm, and Kevin, and they're called the Cows. Now, with a name like the Cows, you're probably expecting me to make a lot of bovine references, things like moving right along or asking them if they fear hoof and mouth disease or gasp shudder using the word utterly. You know, I promise that I won't make any of these references. Well, maybe just one. Um, anyway, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the cows, you're in for a tasty treat, a spectacle of spectacles. With seven full lengths under their belt and more tours than an aging general, they've got a lot of experience that they want to share with the group. So now here they are, one of the most influential punk rock bands around and some of the best music you've ever heard. The Cows. So how would you, I, I'm gonna ask a bunch of dumb questions okay. and then you can harass me about them, but I, I've gotta ask them because it's just, it's like in yeah, the law not, of dumb questions. That's okay. I know, I just. <laughs> so you've got your arm around me and I feel the closest to you now. <laughs> They're touching me. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Norm, describe, I'm, I gotta ask the dumb question, okay? Norm. Why the drummer, though? I mean, you ask the dumb questions of the drummer. You because you're the, the furthest away and can probably inflict it. the least amount of pain <laughs> on me. It's just a coincidence. Yeah. So, uh, 
So, uh, get, no, I, I can't bring myself to ask. I, I just, I just can't. <laughs> so now, uh, seven LPs. That's an awful lot of. Uh, that's a lot of LPs to have. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? You have seven LPs. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what's uh, when you uh, when you did the first one? Did you ever think that you'd be doing them like you know ten years later, or mm, seven no, years I, later? I, no, I didn't. Probably twenty years later, thirty years later. So. So you kind of expected to get the uh, kind of meteoric rise of. Uh, no, I just put out records. <laughs> it's a different thing. But the uh, and you've been pretty well received, like. Oh, you've been like pretty much all around the world. You're going to Japan in another week. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when this comes on, we'll probably have already been there and back. Yeah. Wow. So uh, going on a big tour, a little tour. Just a uh, little tour, a week. Come back with a good tan and stuff. Good tan. Lots of Sony products. Mm hmm Cool. Now, are you waiting for the day when the cows get to sell out and become like a you know major label, huge and uh, you know, start doing a gap ads. Is that something in your future? No. No gap ads. No. Oh, what is it like? Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, what is it like? Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, what is it like?
And now back to the roadside inn for more with the cows. And remember, no tipping. So now the uh, the last record was uh, what was the last record? Orphans tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. In the French. Mm -hmm. When did it come out? September thirtieth, I believe, nineteen ninety four. Okay, been doing well. Yeah, you am assuming. Fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know. That's what you've been touring to support. Yeah, mm -hmm. and just for fun too. Just for fun. When did, when's the next record coming out? Mm. Is there a next record coming out? Oh, sure, yeah, someday. Yeah. Don't know yet. We haven't Working made it. on new material. Yeah. But nothing like huge in the future like that? Because you seem to be doing like a record a year almost. Yeah. You know, which has been, which has been pretty good. It's kind of a summer work program. <laughs> but what's, what's your favorite recording by somebody else? What's your favorite record? Like if you're going to say somebody, this, this is the record that you have to, you have to own. I like Exile on Main Street. I mean, that's what I grew up on, you know. Those guys, we all listen to different stuff. You got a favorite record? It changes every week, you know. Well, what is just for this week? And we won't. <laughs> this hold week, it I've been listening to Destroy All Monsters all week long. The the yeah. new uh, reissue? Yeah, but last week, you know, I listened to Kraftwerk all week long. So changes kind of. So you're a Kraftwerk fan, and that is something I never would have guessed. Darn tootin'. Would not have guessed in, uh, probably not a big my, influence on you, though. My, uh, I don't know. Sure, yes, biggest influence. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You assimilate everything, I don't know. Shannon, you got a favorite record? No, I don't have a stereo, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the question, favorite record. How well, can I listen to a record without a stereo? It doesn't matter. He said last week, and last week, I didn't have a record <laughs> But if you did have a record player, I'd get some records. <laughs> what if, what if you use your imagination? One. If you imagined having, imagine what would you like imagine you listening to if you had a record player? You gotta get this literalism. Well, if I had a record player and I had some money and I had to buy some records, I would probably uh, spend it on beer. <laughs> <laughs> good answer, good answer. Norm, favorite record? Uh, Exile on Main Street. <laughs> you copy that. Yeah. You don't well, even have you, that right now. Couldn't you Shannon's answer? Yes, I do.
Jonathan, you have a day job? No. But no. if you did have one, what would it be? I mean, if you could, if you could have one. Oh, if I could have one, I'd probably <clears throat> buy some beer. <laughs> yeah, buy some beer if I had a job. <laughs> Work at a record store and get some records. <laughs> As opposed to working in a brewery, and then you could get beer. Ah. No, they don't let you drink you at breweries. Cut out the middleman, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't, you know, we'll get the tab here. I know you're unemployed. <laughs> Thanks. That's cool, but then again, so is everybody else. I know, they're my friends. <laughs> That's a job. <laughs> Does he pay you well? No. Let's go play. And now here's a world premiere, never before seen or heard song from The Cows. It's called Customer. And remember, you can only see it on what? I don't know about you, but I'm really tired, so I suppose I should wrap up this particular episode of What. It certainly has been a fun one. I'd like to thank our special guests, the cows, for coming and sharing their warmth with us. And I'd in particular like to thank them for not killing me. Now don't forget, write your congressman. I'm not exactly sure, I guess, what you should be writing your congressman about. I suppose it's probably just to say hi or something, it would be nice. Uh, anyway, we'll see you next time on What? And don't forget, ever so much more than 10.
This program was brought to you with support from Rev 105 Radio, the radio revolution, 105.1 and 105.3 FM. By Total Music Systems, Total Music for sound results. The Electric Fetus Stores, for music, clothing, and gifts, find it all at the Fetus. Dark Recording Studios of Minneapolis. Chris Strout's Wardrobe, provided by Tatters Alternative Clothing, Minneapolis.